we are going to be making Oreo Fudge Brownies, but we're going to call it Oreo Fudge Brown Ties. These are the ingredients and I'm really excited about this recipe. So we need 140 grams of unsalted butter, but if you don't have that and you only have normal butter, it's fine. Now we need 300 grams of granulated sugar, 75 grams of cocoa powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, two spoons of vanilla extract, 60 grams of plain flour. So now we need 90 grams of chocolate chips, but we don't have that, so we're going to use dairy milk giant buttons. So we need 16 Oreos for the main part, and then just some, or some more Oreos that we can chop up. Now, before we start the cooking, preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Once you've got 140 grams of unsalted butter, put it in a bowl and make sure the bowl is microwavable. Now, we need to get 300 grams of granulated sugar and put it in the same bowl as the butter. Now we need 75 grams of cocoa powder. Now get a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, so about this much, and put it in with the other ingredients. Now put this in the uh, microwave for about 30 seconds until it's melted. Now stir it around until it's nice and smooth. So now, oh, <laughs> crack two eggs and put them in with this. No shell. So now we need two teaspoons of vanilla, vanilla extract. And now we need to stir it together. So now get your 60 grams of plain flour and put it in the mixture. And now we mix. Now get your 90 grams of chocolate chips or, well, we are using big chocolate buttons. I'm sure it would be fine if you used them as well if you didn't have chocolate chips. And mix them in. So now you need a baking tray or tin. You need to make sure it's as close to eight inches by eight inches as possible. And now we're gonna put half of the mixture into the baking tray <laughs> now, let's put the Oreos in on top of the thing <laughs> now put the second half of the mixture on now make sure you're smoothing out the mixture to try and cover all the Oreos now, crunch up some Oreos like this and put them into the, on top of the mixture. Okay. Now, put it in the oven at 180 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. This is what ours look like when they come out. Comment if yours look good and if yours tasted good. And this is them. They look delicious and I can't wait to eat them. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to watch my other videos then you can.